We at AutoX are familiar with the 6th generation BMW 7 Series, as you may have seen in our track test videos to exploit this luxury saloon's uncanny sporty dynamics. However, today we are featuring this car for a whole different reason. You see, the BMW 7 Series is brimming with a raft of new age luxury and convenience features that gives it the capability to embarrass just about any uber luxury car out there. So here we are in the cabin of the 7 Series. As you can see, it's pretty luxurious. You've got lots of leather, electroplated switchgear and the works. It comes packed with features nowadays. You get this touch screen system for your uh, climate control, seat heating and the works. Uh, you have your iDrive commands here that allow you to navigate through all your menus and get through everywhere. Um, what's really interesting is that the car now gets gesture controls for a host of functions like accepting or rejecting phone calls, reducing and increasing volume and a whole lot more. And this iDrive system now comes with a touchpad so you can uh, sort of write down your numbers and your alphabets basically while feeding in data to your navigation system or something else. Yet another really cool feature is the 360 degree camera that allows you to get a complete view of the 7 series while being seated inside the car. Actually, the list does not end there as you even get wireless charging capability for your mobile phone when you place your phone in the front armrest compartment. So the 7 series is not just designed to pamper its passengers but the driver himself as well. So here I have the seat controls so I can adjust the seat electrically, of course, forwards, backwards, bolster adjust and the works back support. Uh, but I also have seat massage function so, and that allows me to choose from a whole host of settings from lumbar to only upper body to lower body. But if you think this is luxurious, wait till you get to the back seat of this car. So while you do get this remote control for your individual screens uh, to go through all the menus, what you really want here in 2017 is a touch screen system and that's exactly what BMW gives you. All you need to do is press this eject button and they hand the screen to you. In here you have a raft of features uh, but say I'm stuck in traffic and I want to ride in comfort, all I have to do is go in here and I've saved my seat history as to exactly how I like to sit on long journeys. So I press the pre-selected menu and everything is just going to happen on its own. Just watch. This tablet gives the rear seat passengers just about every ability to control all of the car's creature comforts. From choosing different ambient lighting colors to adjusting rear and front passenger seat positions, adjusting electric sun blinds, to controlling the air conditioning, playing with the stereo, accessing vehicle information, tablet settings, to browsing the internet. You can virtually do it all. Other fancy features aboard the 7 Series include a dual panel sunroof which comes with something called the Sky Lounge. This is essentially more than 15,000 light patterns embedded in the glass in order to give the cabin lighting a more natural feel at night. Speaking about lighting, also come with something called selective beam. This ensures that the bright lights do not dazzle oncoming traffic. Of course, they also feature curved light system which illuminates the corners of a road around a bend ahead. So from behind the wheel, the 7 series feels pretty amazing. It's an absolutely sensational luxury car. It's very quiet, it's very refined. In fact, you can't even tell this is a diesel model at all. And when you do go fast, you get a sporty engine note rather, so that's very refined on its own. Uh, the gearbox shifts seamlessly and the ride is just sublime. But what makes the 7 Series really stand out is the technology and features on board this car. So you get three different driving modes, adjustable suspension so you can raise the nose for you know clearing speed breakers and stuff. Um, you can play with the traction control if you're on a racetrack. So it's basically got it all covered right there. So the different driving modes. Um, for efficient driving, you have a mode called Eco Pro, which basically uh, reduces throttle mapping. So it doesn't take really sudden sharp throttle inputs. Um, it makes the drive smoother, no doubt. You will feel the car slowed down in terms of acceleration, 
but uh, what you get in return is higher fuel efficiency. Then you have comfort mode in which uh, it does not compromise so much on acceleration, but yet you don't get the sharp response uh, from the powerful engine. And then when you move to sport, you get a more uh, evident engine note. You can hear the car louder. The gear shifts are sharper. The throttle is sharper. So the car picks up speed really quickly and the brakes are just amazing on their own. So they stop seamlessly. The BMW 7 Series is underpinned by a hybrid chassis, which in this case means that the unibody frame is built using steel, aluminum, and carbon fiber to make the car as light and strong as possible for better handling, balance, and efficiency. The ride is sublime thanks to the car's air suspension system. It is extremely quiet and deals with road undulations well. So we're not done talking about most of the amazing features on this car. Uh, for example, we're gonna perform a parallel parking maneuver here. The system asks you to park the, stop the car and asks you to use a turn signal. It asks me to take my hands off the wheel and press on the park button. And now it's asking me to release the brake and it's going to do everything on its own. This is amazing. Just watch it on your own. So as you've seen, the 7 Series is packed with features, but the technology does not end with the car, for it comes with BMW's display key. While there are a lot of features you can program with this key, the real party piece is that you can use it to remotely park the car without actually being inside it. Having experienced the BMW 7 Series more as a passenger this time around, I think it's safe to say that the car takes automotive technology for in-car creature comforts to the next level. And hopefully we will see some of these incredible features trickle down the model range soon enough.